Welcome to another Exchange 2013-2019 Coexistence video. My name is Ed and in this video we're going to be looking at covering the certificates part of our Exchange installation. Now if you remember back in the previous set of uh, videos that we did is we basically configured our virtual directories in one of the previous parts and we went through the whole installation from prerequisites um, to the PowerShell requirements and also then installing Exchange 2013. And obviously installing it with <coughs> excuse me, a version that is supported by Exchange 2019. So first step first is we have to log into our Exchange Admin Center and then you click on servers on the left hand side here and then certificates on the right you'll bring up this page. So it basically shows you the default that is here already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be basically creating a CSR or a request to send to our certificate authority which could be DigiSurge, Rapid SSL, whichever provider that you make use of and then you can go and purchase your certificate. So the first thing to do is click here obviously for the right server. I only have one server is to click the plus sign and you can see that we're going to choose option one we're not doing a self sign cert I'm going to just call this um, TLAB cert I'm not going to be using a wildcard here click next obviously I need to choose which server I want so I'm going to choose my only server that I have <coughs> so now what I'm going to do is need to go and configure all of these sections here. So starting with uh, OWA. Now obviously I'm going to use this um, <coughs> URL here for everything. So if I come in here, you can see that they are all set so far. So auto discover um, I'm going to uh, change this. And it will be the same for the external one. And then obviously uh, pop. I'm going to just keep the same. And IMAP, I'm not going to split the names. And then Outlook Anywhere is basically the same. Click Next. Now, obviously, on a SSL certificate, you cannot have .local on because it's not resolvable on the internet. So I'm going to remove that, and I basically now have um, two names that I'm going to use, which is fine, one for auto discover and one for everything else. And I'm just going to put in here um, Collaboration Pro, <coughs> IT, um, Let's call this uh, Texas United States. So now we need to save it to the server. So I generally go and do this localhost C dollar and I call this uh, SSL cert req and it'll basically save to my server now. So if I go to the C drive there's the request file as you can see and you can see now that I have a pending request so obviously now what's going to happen is you've got to go take this file upload it to your provider of choice complete the, the request pay for the cert and then when you have a new cert you'll obviously come here you'll click on complete and then you'll basically browse to where you got the CR file and it will then make the certificate valid. Um, this does take a, a little while so I'm going to do this in the background and hopefully in the next two or three videos it will be done then I can complete this and then take you to the next steps. So that's it for part five of um, the coexistence videos where we configure our certificate. Now in part, uh, let me just check here, in part 10 where we do the certificates for um, the 2019 server, we're going to basically just export our certificate from here and import it into the 2019 server. 
uh, that we'll do later. Thank you very much for watching.